hello hello guys welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel and thank you guys for always coming back to watch my videos in case it's your very first time here welcome and kindly consider subscribing my name is nyaboni ruth and on today's video i'm here with uh, my friend we've been friends since high school in fact we were in the same high school and uh, we are here uh, let her introduce herself and uh, a shout out and then we continue with the video hi guys what's up welcome back again to nyabonyi roth channel mm -hmm. kindly subscribe so my name is uh, miss anu you can check me out on youtube at miss anu yes you subscribe also yeah so guys we are here at mo university and we're gonna uh tell you our dating experience here in college and uh, uh, to start with uh by the way this girl has always been in my channel if you haven't watched the previous videos go there and watch so one on one let's get to the main video so as i've told you we're going to discuss about dating life here in campus and uh, to start with oh uh, how do you take it like what do you understand by dating in campus okay <laughs> what is dating in campus on your side like dating in campus mm -hmm. simply having a boyfriend or a girlfriend mm -hmm. uh, who are in a relationship yes who have decided to be intimate to each other mm -hmm. yeah in a setup where is in campus like there is studies going on mm -hmm. and there is still that relationship going on. Going on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, so that's dating in campus and um, what's your experience in dating in campus? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I can't say that I'm so much experienced mm -hmm. because uh, I've never tried and I have reasons behind that mm -hmm. and I don't know whether I'll try it because uh, because of those reasons I've said, uh, I've talked about, mm -hmm. it discouraged me. It kind of gave me a negative attitude towards the dating in campus. Mm -hmm. But uh, I know dating in campus from a friend's perspective, mm -hmm. from what I get to hear from what others are telling me. Yeah, so personally, I'm not experienced. You're not experienced. Yes. You've said you have your own reasons as to why you, you, do, you, wanna, you don't want to date anytime in campus mm -hmm. what are those reasons if you can share with us <laughs> <laughs> personally uh, i do view that uh, love in campus is a scam somehow mm -hmm. okay not not every person i understand not every person is going to lie to you that uh, maybe anakupenda is a story mm -hmm. there are those who are genuine and so the problem is getting that genuine one person mm -hmm. Yeah, so one of the reasons is I don't believe the love that is uh, being offered around here. Mm -hmm. Because what hurts most is uh, today you're, you're dating, let's say you're dating Brian. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden you've broken up. You know these people, somehow, I don't know. Okay, I'm sorry to say that. Somehow <laughs> they are not it. mature. <laughs> most of them are mm -hmm. not mature. Mm -hmm. So instead of maybe solving uh, your issues in the right way mm -hmm. the guy will decide to filisha you and that another girl akuja na kuonyesha mbele yake sasa is like anakuonyesha you know the only girl there are several girls around this place <laughs> yeah, yeah. i just hate that feeling you know you will mm -hmm. just feel disrespected you even it will lower your your, your, your self esteem you will hear you will feel that your dignity is not is not normal you understand so mm. i guess that is the big reason as to why <laughs> and i don't i really don't believe that there's someone love in, in this place will love to be loved <laughs> <laughs> oh so there is other ways you want to be loved yes they want to be loved in a certain way I don't want you to tell me just because you 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 know there is someone saying oh, okay it is right to say I love you. Hmm. No, I want it to come from your heart, and maybe even if it is coming from your heart, mm -hmm. in a mature way. <laughs> <laughs> Where guys, it love encompasses a scar. Guys, on my side, I could just say um. 
dating dating in campus uh, it, it comes in two ways maybe somebody there is somebody who is loved and loved truly and those people are just they <laughs> they just in love and they love the like there's genuine love you know in in 100 you can't find every every maybe every man is cheating or just playing with your feelings or taking advantage of you on my side i could say um the start point you can just find somebody who, who will just love you do everything for you as much as he's not able to fulfill whatever <laughs> to fulfill whatever you want at least that person is trying rather than having somebody outside there you don't know if you're the only person that person is having or at that point you're talking with that person are you the only one so me i i i prefer having a boyfriend here in campus as much as it's a waste of time yes i can't uh, deny that but uh, it's better to have somebody close to you let me get in the comment section guys <laughs> are you into uh, campus relationship or uh, you will prefer to have somebody outside there maybe a long distance let me get in the comment section so and i'm back to you you just said you will never fall in love in campus I'm right not never uh -huh. I'm not <laughs> Okay, you, you, you have never. no experience. You have no experience. I have no experience, yes. You have no experience. So, uh, I could like uh, to you to give us an experience. Maybe you've seen somebody somewhere mistreated or a couple somewhere if they are... Like, le le let's get to know. See, you are in campus. You're both in campus. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, what I like to say is, uh, first, you said that uh, ca dating in campus is a waste of thing. Mm -hmm. Not, not. In fact, not every relationship that is in campus ends up in marriage, mm -hmm. and not every relationship mm -hmm. ends up maybe somewhere else. There are those ones that end up in marriage, mm -hmm. and we have uh, so many happily married guys out outside there that maybe got uh, uh, that relationship from campus, and bravo to you Bana. bravo <laughs> it's, it's an achievement it's an achievement <laughs> so of course we have those ones who will love you genuinely but the problem is maybe i've not been that lucky to find that one guy who will love me genuinely the way you want the way i want <laughs> so i've always been getting those uh how can i call them <laughs> players maybe yes. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so 99 mm -hmm. 99 of the guys around they, they they love playing ladies now that we are, are many ladies they love to to use that chance to explore <laughs> they want ladies. to explore <laughs> yes they want to explore but that one percent they are also good they love you genuinely they'll do anything for you yes so back to the question mm -hmm. uh from a friend's perspective mm -hmm. i remember uh in fact, I was I just joined from one, and then I got my friend got a boyfriend. The boyfriend was a third year. You can understand that feeling that <laughs> oh, I'm out How, of uh, the house the high the school. Parents. I can do anything I want. I'm so much free. So I was like, okay. In fact, it was the first week. Mm -hmm. Of this, joining, yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this girl has just involved herself in a relationship. Mm -hmm. The guy was a low guy. You can understand what low guys will say. <laughs> <laughs> guys, what do you think about the low guys? Let's get in the comment section. Yes, they, are they really or uh, what they? Are they really what they think they are, or they are exaggerating, or what? Let's just get in the comment section. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, the girl got into a relationship. The first date was Mwah. the second day, Mwah. the third day. Mwah. Mm -hmm. The girl was somehow happy to be in a relationship, and then one thing led to another. Mm -hmm. They ended up sleeping together. Mm -hmm. So, the fourth day, mm -hmm. the girl started seeing changes. You understand? Mm -hmm. the, the guy wasn't coming to the room as he used to, to come. come. Even calling, he doesn't call. He doesn't pick calls. Then one evening, you understand that uh, we eat from the street. The street, yeah. So one evening we were going to take supper, mm -hmm. and then we we found that guy 
on a motorbike mm-hmm. with another lady. What? The lady was coming from home. You can imagine the type of disappointment the girl was into. Was in, yeah. Yeah, she was very depressed. I told her just take it easy. And then that gave me a different perspective of love. Mm-hmm. And then apart from this, you 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 are student, a motor student. You mm-hmm. you expecting maybe your parents to send you 50 bob, <laughs> I send me 300. Mhm. So the 300 is what you're depending on to that that boyfriend you you won't watch your boyfriend to be to be angry and you have, you have the 300, 300. like seriously okay, you're in love <laughs> yes you're in love so you've used the 300 you mm-hmm. remained to be zero zero so what will you do are you going to look for another guy who is having maybe 500 so that at least you can have something <laughs> to take you understand? understand so it is somehow a challenge because we are supposed to share the little mm-hmm. and we have different backgrounds for example maybe you may find that i don't even have uh, that cash that is going to sustain me so it is very difficult to divide the money so that at least it can sustain both of you yes sustain both of us and maybe the guy doesn't uh, is not able to raise the cash another thing other boyfriends around here when they <laughs> they, they just feel that uh, i have a, a girlfriend mm-hmm. yeah, back at his mind is like i've got a wife <laughs> so you the wife you wash the, the clothes sure you, 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 you do everything <laughs> the guy is just there sitting this way waiting for everything waiting to, to be, be done. done because you're a wife at yeah. that moment go to hell and, have <laughs> <laughs> and in return maybe that girl is expecting maybe french fries chips that we call chips here yeah. you know in Kampa, oh, in Kenya here <laughs> <laughs> so you just doing all that expecting maybe to have uh, chips and chips is only 50 bob you've done a lot you've forgotten even to go to class that guy is just uh, in class and you're in the house doing all those stuff <laughs> to, sh- to to show that person that you love that you love him so but you're in love you you should do all that you should do all that how imagine mm-hmm. you both students and maybe you have a class you you both have class maybe it's a, a, a seven class and you have to go both to class Since you're pretending to act like a wife material, you can't go to class and leave dirty utensils on the sink. You can't go to class to leave a dirty floor. You have to pretend huh? to to act like a wife material at least to make that person happy. Since But somehow love. it is good. It also uh, teaches you early on how to be a very good wife. No. <laughs> Imagine you'll just end up missing that class and at uh, the end of the semester you're going to have exam you're going to fail and that person is going to pass and there's no way you're going together maybe I'll just advise mm-hmm. that uh, if you're in a relationship you have decided to stay with that guy you should uh, like be able to know at what time are you supposed to do what what yeah so that at least you may not miss any class and then if you're understanding each other i just hate the fact that someone will be seated there str- you are, you're here struggling doing each yeah, and everything a thing and somebody's just on internet yeah, I, mean, i hate that time exactly. is limited you need to cook you need to do what to three so at least i don't know maybe others won't say it is right But, but it's good to share that. yeah it's good to share uh, the responsibilities yeah. since you all together in yeah. that if uh, i'm doing this or if i have a class and you're in the house maybe you're staying together make sure you prepare lunch for that girl okay oh yeah <laughs> and also <laughs> and also uh, if if the guy is in class and you just in the house you don't have a class uh, just act uh, just prepare lunch for that person like let it be shared responsibility not you waiting for that person as if you married do not married guys you not married but you're not criticizing our campus relationships if you feel like uh, you're comfortable in that just go into it and um remember people change <laughs> <laughs> no. don't expect that much you know yeah. don't 
expectations just lower, lower your, your expectations, expectations so yeah. that you can not get disappointed and you know if you get disappointed you can end up um even committing suicide for the person you don't even know you've just <laughs> come <cool. laughs> you've just come from your house met with somebody here and you just want to commit suicide no just uh, lower your expectations live at the moment and uh, everything will go well mhm anything else <laughs> anything else mm-hmm. uh what i want to, to say is that uh, i do believe in true love mm-hmm. and it doesn't matter from who it comes from it may be someone from the lower class from the high class from the middle class from a student from when anybody else uh you should give love a chance when i'm saying that i, I don't have an experience doesn't mean i've not given someone a, a chance. chance yeah i've given a chance and maybe they have uh, misused it so you should give someone a chance if you 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 are you are uh, comfortable to each other if it is someone that you can tolerate in your life why not give it a trial right? yeah just give it a trial maybe that person you just go, you going to deny a chance is the right person for you yes so mad so you <laughs> yeah you're a grown up and uh, there's this thing of freshers so you just take care when you join campus these guys are waiting for you <laughs> <laughs> they're waiting to take advantage of you so when you just come here take your time learn a person and see if he's the right person to be with or is not the right person so just take time and um if you see that person has a she uh, he has a potential you can give him Continue. and try <laughs> yeah you can try it. Mm. so don't block any chance in the name of i just want to be like miss anu no your luck is not my, my luck. luck sure yeah maybe i'm not so much that blessed in that section <laughs> i'm living it that way but if you feel that you have potential you have a potential <laughs> somewhere if you have a potential if, somewhere yeah. just go for it mm-hmm. yes and also guys uh as i said lower your expectations you know as girls we get into relationships wanting to live like somebody maybe yeah. for me i just want to get into a relationship and maybe you're dating here in campus and uh, i just see you you're just going on well you're doing well you go out you go vacations try to understand your partner maybe your boyfriend has and my boyfriend doesn't, doesn't yeah. yeah so try to understand your boyfriend maybe a time will come and have all the fun in the world but for now just try to understand your man Yeah so guys that was all about the video see you again in our next video let's give vibes and please if you have not subscribed just hit that red subscribe button to join this amazing amazing family so bye till next time yes bye